B13 by Matthew McElligot. B13. It was a warm summer night. Ralph and Laura, L Ralph and Flora were picking beans for dinner. How many do we have? asked Flora. Looks like 12, said Ralph. I'll pick one more, said Flora. Don't do it, shouted Ralph. Why on earth not? asked Flora. 13 is an unlucky number, said Ralph. Everyone knows that. You're being silly, said Flora. I am not, said Ralph. You are too, said Flora. I am not, said Ralph. Are too, said Flora. Am not, said Ralph. At home, Ralph and Flora spread the beans out on the table. They made two piles, one for each of them. Each pile had six beans. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look, said Flora, there's one left over. You take it, Ralph. Bean 13, gasped Ralph, never, it's bad luck. Ralph, said Flora, please don't make a fuss. I'm not eating it, said Ralph, and you can't make me. I have an idea, said Flora. I'm not eating it, said Ralph. Flora called their friend April. April, would you like to come over for dinner? We're having beans. I don't understand, said Ralph. We're only going to feed April one bean? Of course not, said Flora. We'll make three piles. Ralph and Flora separated the beans into three piles. Each pile had four beans. Ralph, one, two, three, four. April, one, two, three, four. Flora, one, two, three, four. And there was one bean left over. <gasps> bean 13, said Ralph. I told you. That is odd, said Flora. Let's invite Joe, too, and make four piles, added Ralph, so it's fair. Joe. April, Flora, Ralph, bean 13. But when they made four piles, there was still one bean left over. I don't understand, said Flora. I do, said Ralph, bean 13 is trouble. It's just a bean, said Flora. I'll call Meg, we'll make five piles. This better work, said Ralph, as they separated the beans into five piles. Each pile had two beans. Meg, Joe, April, Ralph, Flora. <gasps> this time there were three beans left over. It's getting worse, gasped Ralph. Don't panic, said Flora. I'm calling Rocco. He eats everything. But something still wasn't right. Why does Rocco get three beans? complained Ralph. That's more than everyone else. Well, we could give him two, said Flora, but... But what? asked Ralph. Never mind, said Flora. Tell me, said Ralph. But what? It's just that we'll still have an extra bean, said Flora. I'm really not sure why. Meg, Joe, Ralph, Flora, April, Rocco, and Bean 13. Lousy Bean 13, cried Ralph. I can't stand it. Ding dong, went the doorbell. Our guests are here, shouted Ralph. What are we going to do? He jumped to his feet. He bumped the table and the beans went everywhere. Oh, Ralph, sighed Flora. What a mess. Sorry, said Ralph. Here, said Flora, take this bowl and gather up the beans. I'll get the door. Hello, everyone, said Flora. I'm so happy you could come. There are fresh beans in a bowl on the table, said Flora. Please help yourselves. The bug sat down to eat. Does everyone have enough, said Flora. She got two beans. It's perfect, said the fly. 
He got one bean. You bet, said the worm. He got two beans. Just right, said the praying mantis. He got three beans. Absolutely, said the beetle. Three beans. Me too, how strange, said Ralph. He got two beans. Dinner was great fun, but at last it was time for the bugs to go home. You have to admit, said Flora, that worked out perfectly. It did, said Ralph, but I'm confused. What happened to bean 13? Flora shrugged, someone ate it. But who, asked Ralph. We'll never know, said Flora. Maybe April, maybe Rocco, maybe me, maybe even you. <gasps> the end.